Hey guys, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to share a little pocket letter that I made for Sue Ann Thomason. She actually gave me the idea for this one because she had done a pocket letter pal using an old calendar. And my dad had recently given me an old calendar of his that had these beautiful classic paintings by the masters. And recently I had also gotten a de-stash box of papers and stickers and whatnot from Carol who is Crafty Carolina gal. And one of the sticker sheets had these beautiful ornate frames. So I thought, oh, that's perfect. They're the perfect size to go around the little small images on the one back sheet of the calendar that had all of the images that were on the rest of the calendar. Um, the images for the calendar itself were really too big, but the little thumbnails were perfect to fit inside each of these little pockets and behind these beautiful ornate frames. The sticker sheet also had these little pennants and some sentiments and some little banners. So I just had fun using up all these different little pieces and I inked all the edges with Victorian velvet and forest moss ink because there were good um, kind of pale kind of reddish burgundies and also this pale green on the paper that I used that was also part of the same collection. I decorated with little banner that I made up with some green and white baker's twine that I had gotten from Little Lulu Scraps. Thank you, Laura. I also made a little charm dangle here with a little bead dangle and some charms that I had gotten from Carol and also from Marla H. This pretty pink lacy bow I made from lace that was gifted to me by Pat S. The Tim Holt washi tape is from Elaine Rico. And I just had a good time. I added some flat back pearls, some bling pieces, and I made up little tassels, you know, as if there would be a curtain or something that you could draw open to reveal the painting. I did that on a couple of those. I love the sentiments. This one says, you are the closest I will ever come to magic. This one says, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. You know. I think of art as being such a blessing and a unique gift to the world. And I really do think of it like magic. So I thought these sentiments went really well with these painting images uh, from the masters. And I'm just gonna keep the goodies in the backs of each of the pockets as a surprise. So Sue Ann will be surprised when she gets this. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful crafty day and thanks so much for watching.